Hello, humans of the internet. We are working on some zinc plating right over there. And while that's going, we're going to be getting the RX-7 ready and prepped to shape the door handles and hard top the doors. So that means we're gonna strip the whole doors down. I'm gonna prep the handle area, cut it out around the perimeter. Uh, and then we're also going to cut the top of the door frame off about here and right here ish that way we can hard top it and get it ready to uh, do a target conversion on it too so that's what we got going on first thing we got to do is pull this door panel off comes off pretty simple um, all I need is a Phillips head screwdriver one of these handy dandy clip poppers let's get it going No, it's that easy. Those clips are already popped out or missing, so I didn't even need my clip puller. But easy as pie. Undo the bolts, lift it up, slide it out. Oh man, check the speaker out. It is uh, missing its surround completely. I think I'm gonna need a new one. Let's go ahead and we'll strip the rest of this out. Pull off the dust liner. And we should be ready to take the glass and the mirror off. Ah, 
Not expecting all these clips to last. <clears throat> End up probably replacing most of them or just not using them. Since I'm going to do a whole new custom canvas system on this, a lot of this wiring is going to go away. I'm really glad this adhesive is coming off so easy. A lot of the times when you get these older cars, it just is either way too sticky or it's hardened up and doesn't come off or whatever. This is, this is super nice. I can just peel most of it off. There's still some residue, but that'll clean up super easy.
trying to save this. It's still good. I can reuse it. door wiring harness. Go ahead and pull the mirror out. They do make aftermarket mirrors, um, but oh, I think there was a mud dauber nest in there. Anyway, I like this style, so I'm going to go ahead and refinish these. undo this latch here that'll give us uh, some easier room to get the rest of the internals out Looks like I'm gonna have to take out the window first because it's blocking access to the door handle bolts. So I'm gonna grab me a 12 millimeter. No, a 10. I think it's a 10. We'll go with 10. It was a 10. I second guessed myself, got a 12, and it was way too big, but it's 10.
this is gonna be the tricky part. Normally you wanna roll the window down, disconnect the glass, and then pull the window out after you remove the <laughs> weather trim and everything. But I don't have that luxury, so uh, we're just gonna do our best to not break anything. I think I'm gonna try and slide the regulator over or something. I don't know, we'll see. I don't think that's gonna work. Um, hmm. I don't, well, I might have enough room for quarter inch drive ratchet up in there. Let's try that and get some new gloves while we're at it. All right, I got uh, my quarter inch drive 10 millimeter. I also grabbed my offset wrench just in case. I don't know, I can't reach it with the ratchet. Let's give it a try. I'm gonna have to cheat. Cause that's not gonna work. Using the wrench is gonna suck cause I got like a eighth of a click per play. I don't wanna deal with that. Okay, <clears throat> I got my jumper cables hooked up to the Mitsubishi. I've got some old multimeter leads. So we'll get these connected to the jumper cable and then just boop, 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 boop till it's down to the spot we need. catching on that uh, door latch I did earlier, so let's uh, back up. Keep the line bolts through there, which looks like we're good. Okay, let's disconnect this shenanigans so we don't electrocute anything. All right, let's try this. No 
want to pull pull this uh, this stuff out first at least. Yeah. Go. Got the belt line molding off. I don't know what I'm going to do about this. Probably just paint it. Unless I can find a good replacement for a reasonable price. Now, since we've unbolted the tracks on both sides, just be able to lift this up. And the fun part. Oh, that was a terrible peel. I'm sorry, folks. I I have shamed myself on the internet. Maybe. Oh, I was hoping this would be a little bit better. Oh, that's awful. We'll deal with that later. I'm gonna go set this somewhere where it won't break. Okay, get the window molding out of there. This is usually fairly straightforward. say usually because we all know that ain't how life works. Support rail out. All things out. Here's the other rail. All right. There's a fancy little metal trim here. Gently pull out. Oh, I'm not going to reuse it since we're, you know, cutting all that off, but maybe some other FC owner will want it for stuff for things. Now, let's pull the exterior to the interior where they're shipping out. And this should just pull out. Looks like there's couple spots with the clips holding it in.
clips. We're probably going to end up replacing half this weather stripping anyway. So I'm not super concerned about it. Gonna have to get that later once we disconnect the hinge stuff. Old body. Okay. Now we should be able to take out the window regulator. Regulators. Now. pretty good condition it's got a crack down here just like the other one but uh, it still functions I'm not looking to uh, replace those Rod clips off is never fun. Go interior handle out. Uh, we're going to keep this, like I said, so we can open the door from the inside. Opening the door from the outside is going to be done with an N NFC reader. So you just swipe the phone over the door and solenoid pops the door open. Boom, easy peasy. Come on, come on, I know you don't want 
want you, but I want you to. Off it there it goes. Okay. Pop this handle off. That's interesting. It's uh, a stud with a nut on it. That one came off as a nut. Yeah. Car manufacturers are weird sometimes. off as a stud and a nut. Okay. Looks like I might have to completely disconnect this handle from the... Uh... Yeah. One thing I need to get that I keep forgetting to get, it's a set of picks. Because not lock picks, just you know, picks. Every once in a while, a screwdriver just won't do. I think I can get this with a screwdriver, but I'd rather get it with a pick.
door handle gone. The one thing I'm gonna have to figure out is how to replace these two circuits. One is the, uh, oh, the car is locked circuit. And the other is the, the doors open circuit. So the idea with the doors open one is you pop the handle and all the interior lights come on at once to make it easy and things. But I don't have that, so maybe I'll tie that feature into the NFC reader. So when you swipe your phone, the door pops open and the lights come on at once. And that can all be done through CAN bus. It doesn't have to be separate circuits or anything. CAN bus is super helpful, which is why since this thing was missing like 90% of its wiring or was cut, doing a CAN bus is actually going to be cheaper than replacing all the wiring. There's a little lever dude. Boop, 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 boop. Don't mind me. Oh, I love these stupid plastic clips. It makes some things easier, but the rest of it, no. All right, latch is done. I'm gonna leave the rest of these in place. I don't need to take them out um, when I paint the door. Well, I'm going to paint this car red, except for the top, uh, which is going to be black. So leaving this red will be fine. I'll just give it a nice touch-up coat. And if I get the little clips red, whatever. All right. I think we got this door pretty much stripped down. I do want to remove this so I can get this molding wrestle down. Might need a bopping tool for that. Bop, bop, bop. Got it.
is this pin, so I'm just gonna pop back in there for now. Sweet. And we can take this weather shipping off. Okay. It is now tore down enough for us to do some metalworky stuff on it. I'm gonna get this all cleaned up, put up in the storage shelves, and we'll start taping, measuring, and get ready to. All right, we're gonna go ahead and get this marked up for cutting. Um, I've decided on cutting it here and straight up here. Uh, the convertible chassis has that shape on the door already. Um, some hard tops will cut down to here and over, but I don't want to do all the metal work on that. That's a bit too much. So we're just gonna and then I'm gonna mark out my outline for cutting out the door handle part. Uh, you could cheat and just like cut a piece that size, pop it on there and weld it in place. Um, but one of the advantages to cutting this out is that you can slide your sheet metal behind there, take a scratch off, and cut your piece out perfectly. And then you can just and butt weld it all the way around. So I will start, get this guy marked up. I've just got some painter's tape for marking. this line straight up. To make sure I do that. I want to butt it right up to there. Make sure I don't pull too tight on the tape. Lay it right like that. cut on the front here will dictate the cut on the back. So we really only need to mark the front. I think that'll be all right. For the back here, it's gonna be kind of interesting because we've got either the belt line to follow here or we can follow the trim up here. I feel like following the trim will be a little bit better. Just because then we have one con one continuous line all the way across instead of having this come up and then veer down and over. Um, It'll also be better because the, the inside of the door is about the height of this. So if I cut this lower, it's going to be lower than the inside panel, and I don't really want that either. Once again, we will take this. I'm going to follow right in the middle of the crease here instead of out at the end there. The idea being I can actually lay this in a little bit to match the contour.
feel like that's too low. I'm going to do that again. Okay, let's mark our line for this. We're just going to make this a simple square, rectangle, whatever. We want the hole to be just slightly bigger than when it starts to curve down. door open somehow. Time to grab the grinder. Alright, got my grinder. We're ready to cut. Uh, I would recommend wearing a face shield with grinders because I have seen these discs explode and uh, cause some pretty good damage. Um, I don't have a face shield, so as long as I don't have it perpendicular with my face or any other body parts, if it explodes, that's usually the way it goes. Is out like that, right? So I'm just gonna make sure I'm not in line with it.
All right. That will clean up with uh, files and a little bit of welding. So I'm going to have to weld either a little thin strip or just build up some welds to fill that gap there. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay. Let's go ahead and tackle this cut next. Um, I'm going to shut the door a little bit further so I'm not throwing sparks right at my other car. here to chop this last little bit off. I have to use the uh, reciprocating saw to get that last little last little connection out of there. Okay, got my reciprocating saw here. We're gonna just cut the uh, last little bits off, and I have an assistant to hold up the rest of the door frame for me. Why don't you come around this side? Oh, around this side. It'll be easier to hold it up and hold it here. There you go. And just hold it still, you don't need to lift up or anything like that. So I'm going to cut this and the whole thing's going to like come off and I don't want it to fall down, okay? Thank <laughs> you. 
Let's see. Last little bit I can't get. I may have to just break it off. So let me see this. Gently twist. Okay. Okay, come to this side and hold it over here. Careful not to get too close to that pokey end that you're touching right now. Under this, this is going to be what we're going to weld up here. That way, we don't have to worry about fabricating a whole new piece for up here. We'll just get this welded and shaped nicely. So now, we have a hard top door. Next, we got to cut our door handle access take a piece of sheet metal, hold it up behind there, trace it out, uh, make some alignment marks on it so I know which way it goes in there, put it up there, butt weld it together. And then I gotta do that to the other side, but I don't need to show you all that. So, uh, also give you a quick update on rear differential here we've got it all back together powder coated the only thing I'm missing is the front seal here I have a hard time finding one for this diff um, I found replacements for the turbo 2 diff just not this one but I've got some 
nuts to anodize here, or not anodize, electroplate. Um, those go here. Once those are done, you can bolt that together. The rest of this hardware goes to the control arms and the hubs. And so we'll get that back together soon. Bye.